Hey guys, Joseph's back. We're going to be doing another project. Uh, this one is for Halloween. I know you guys have been learning about spiders in your class, and so we're going to make a spider web today with a watercolor resist technique. Ooh. So Joseph is going to help us. What you need are a white crayon and a pencil to write your name on the back. So go ahead and write your name on the back of your paper and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so I just want to show you, uh, I want to show you before the video with Joseph, show you what we're going to be doing with a marker on a white paper so that you can get an idea because it's really hard to see the white crayon. So the first thing you're going to do is draw a circle in the center of your paper with the white crayon. Then you're going to go back to the center of the circle and you're going to draw a line to each corner and straight off your page with your white crayon. Go back to the center, then you're going to draw a line straight up, a line across, a line down, and another line across. So you have eight lines um, coming from the center. Now what we're going to do is go between these in these sections and we're going to draw some curved lines like this all the way up like that. We're going to do it in each section. Now keep in mind you're going to be using your crayon and because it's a white crayon on white paper it's going to be very hard to see. That's why I'm showing you with the marker to show you what to do. It's going to curve in like this all the way up. Curve in like this in between those sections. You're going to have to, sometimes if you bend down and look at the sideways view of the table it will show you you can see the lines better because it, they're, um, you can kind of see the crayon raised up. So you have to find the sections and draw these curved lines in between each section with your white crayon. And then after that, then you'll paint it. So we're going to go now to the video with Joseph, and you'll see him doing it. Now you won't see very well the white crayon. You're not going to see it because it's white crayon on white paper. So keep in mind, this is what it's going to look like when you're doing it with your white crayon. Okay, so Joseph, um, I want you to write your name on your paper. Write your name, dash your grade level, Dash your teacher's initials. Good job. Okay, now flip it over. This is, like I said, a watercolor resist painting. So take your white crayon, and we're going to make our spider web with the white crayon. You won't see it very well because it's white. The crayon is white, and you're on a white piece of paper. But we're going to just try to do our best. We're going to start with drawing a circle in the middle of the page. A small circle in the middle of the page. Press pretty hard, friends. You want it to show up when we paint over it, so go ahead and press pretty hard. Now from the inside of the circle, I want you to make a line from the inside of the circle, make a line to the corner of the page. Good. Now go back to the inside of the circle and make another line to the bottom corner. Okay, we're going to go to all the corners from the inside of the circle. Okay. Good. Make sure you're pressing pretty hard. Um, Go back to the inside of the we'll circle. Get to mine. I know. It's okay if you can't see it. That's because it's white. Go back to the inside of the circle, and we're going to make a line straight up to the top of the page and go off the page. Go back to the inside of the circle, make a line straight down. Back to the inside of the circle, make a line straight across. Back to the inside of the circle, make another line straight across the other way. Okay, good. Now you have your lines. Now we're going to draw a curved line like this. I'm just going to show you on Joseph's paper with a pencil so you kind of have an idea of what to do. Back at the middle of your circle, between the two lines, you're going to draw curved lines like this. All the way up to the end of the page. Okay, and then to the next one, you're going to do some more like this between those lines that you drew. They're curved lines, yes. Okay, so go ahead and do that between all 
of the sections. Okay, now that we have our lines drawn, we're going to take the paint that I give you. I'm giving you paint colors and cool colors and black. And you're just gonna paint over the whole thing and it's gonna be like magic to see what happens. Are you ready, Joseph? Let's just pick a color and start painting. Okay, here's Joseph's spiderweb painting with watercolor resist. See how the white, wherever you put white, shows up. And here was mine, wherever we put the white, shows through the paint. Isn't that pretty amazing? It's like magic. All right, friends, thanks for joining us for your spiderweb resist watercolor painting. See you next time. Bye. Bye.